Hello there and welcome back to another one of my thrilling videos. It's great to be back. So today we're going to be looking at the Hanimex Telehanimatic IEF or Integrated Electronic Flash. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, so before we uh, open this box and have a look at this lovely camera from uh, 1976, I believe, um, just a little bit more about the brand. So Hanimex was founded by a gentleman uh, by the name of uh, Jack Hans. Um, and he started out by importing European cameras to Australia, as well as uh, various SLR lenses. It's quite an interesting fellow, uh, Mr. Jack Hans. So have a little look online about him. Um, it's got an interesting kind of heritage. Um, he studied in England for a period of time before moving to Australia. Um, and if you hadn't figured it out already, no, you, I, I didn't figure it out, so you wouldn't have. Uh, Hanimax stands for Hans import export so that's pretty cool almost like amstrad but you know many years before that kind of a what was amstrad for alan michael sugar trading uh hands import export so not a dissimilar idea anyway i digress so um at some point uh hanimex um started to manufacture their own cameras and become somewhat synonymous with like a long line of 110 film cameras. Uh, and if you wasn't aware, uh, 110 film was introduced to market by Kodak in 1972. But as time went on, um, other brands produced uh, their own film. So anyway, uh, so looking at the camera in this video, it appears to have been launched to market circa 1976, 1977. But what was cool about this camera, um, it's when I opened this box up and it was like literally brand new, it's crazy. Um, there was a yellow guarantee card in mine, which was cool. They purchased it on the 20th of August 1977. And so I have to still have this guarantee card, so 46 years on, maybe I'll contact Hanimax. Oh, I can't because they're no longer a company. Oh, well. <laughs> so anyway, um, without further ado, just going to open this box up, have a little look at the box. So um, just before I do that, this is basically the, the main picture on the box of the camera, telling you what I think. Hanimax with integrated electronic flash, uh, tele Hanimatic IEF, too much information, too much jargon. Those 70s advertisers, what were they doing? Um, basically, other than that, the box is pretty bare bones. Nothing on the back other than green, they like this color. So let's pop this open. Now, I don't know if you can see all this here, but um, I'll just kind of guide you through it. So as you open this kind of gatefold box, it's telling you that you can either have it in wide mode or telephoto mode. And it just says here, uh, fast F 5.6 wide field regular lens, instant switching to F 5.6 telephoto lens, both lenses, top quality optical glass, exclusive quick flash attachment, viewfinder zooms from tele to wide. I mean, I don't know about you know, all of that. It does sound like it's got a lot more in the camera than what you've actually got. <laughs> uh, so yes, we have the guarantee here, and then we have a little instruction booklet for those of you out there that uh, want to understand how to use this camera. It's a really, really, well, it's not a complicated camera and any stretch of the imagination, and we will go through that in a minute. So yes, you have instructions. You have some bubble wrap. You still have the bubble wrap in there. This person looked after this camera. And then you have the camera itself. Do, 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 which we'll have a little close-up look. No, Adrian, the camera's not over there. It's here. The camera <laughs> itself. Um, and then the separate flash unit um, in all of its glory, which I really like, actually. As I say, we'll have a little closer look at this in a moment. And then we are left with... Oh, hold on. We have something that was attached to the camera. And it says, oh, look, it's got a little bit of green... Uh, I don't know what that is, string attached to it. And it says... And let's have a look at this, read this together. Important, while the viewfinder is a zoom finder, it only operates in two positions, tele and wide. When using in tele position, make sure finder is in full tele position or lens will not be properly positioned. Click stops indicate proper positions for what, what? Just not worry about that. Um, and then, yeah, and then we have kind of a, a bit of yellow, a bit of yellow, a bit of orange or red, and a bit of polystyrene. And then if we smell the box, what I'm going to do now, it smells of 1970s, a Tupperware, uh, uh, kind of, I don't know what that smells of. I don't really want to get myself into trouble. But um, yeah, so that's basically the content. So let's have a little closer look at the camera. Okay, well, let's have a look at the camera and the flash unit. Let's start with the camera first, move the flash unit across. So um, these 110 cameras um, were incredibly efficient with space. They're all very basic cameras. Um, on the front here, you can just see where your shutter is and your lens, um, and then here your viewfinder. Let's just see if we can see it 
fire off. Let's just find the right position. Let's have a go. One, two, three. Yeah, there you go. Still working. And then your film advance lever is just beneath here, or on the bottom here. Um, so yeah, nothing more to show you there. Let's just turn the camera around. So here is your viewfinder. And then here is where you put your film. Just press the lever down on the top. That opens the gate. Uh, and that is where you put your 110 film. I love 110 film. It's the most simplest form of film, I think, to whack it in. It's almost like um, Super 8 film. All in a cartridge, all ready to rock and roll. No uh, mucky fingers to get involved. So looking on the top of the camera, well, there's your shutter button. So self-explanatory. And then on the top here, it's just our choice between, uh, at the moment we're in telephoto. And if we pull across on the red cake okay, there, it's now in wide mode. Wide mode, telephoto. And it just zooms in ever so slightly on the picture. And uh, something I must point out, because I actually didn't realize until I'd finished shooting, I thought when I was pulling um, the switch across, it was changing um, the uh, distance, but it's not. So you can see at the moment, um, if I can get that focus, it says two to three meters. And if I push this little black lever, um, it now says three meters to infinity. And you can do that on both modes. Um, so, apologies for that, it's quite tricky to show. So yeah, when you pull this across, I thought it was changing it, uh, but it wasn't. You have to actually manually change it yourself. So uh, nice little feature that. Um, is there anything else that I need to talk to you about? Oh, this is disappointing. I wanted these to be quite squishy and they are ever so slightly squishy, but they're not as squishy as I would like them to be. Um, not quite sure if they were meant for grip, um, or if they were just meant to be kind of aesthetically pleasing. I don't know, but um, yeah, little tripod hole there, advanced lever there. That's it. That is it. It's basically whack your film in, shoot your picture. That's it. Bare bones, but great. So the flash unit, really cool. I hadn't seen um, a separate flash unit for these 110 film cameras. Um, I only have one other one. I've reviewed two in the past, um, but it's really nice. And obviously, like any of these kind of flash units back in the day, they take batteries. I can't remember which batteries these take. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, two AA batteries. Can I get it back in? <laughs> there you go. So it's simply a case of just turning it on. Now let's see if we can hear the buzz. This takes me back to when I was a child in the 80s. I hope you can hear that. Put it right by my mic. And if you remember, you just have to wait until the lamp would go red. Although sometimes it was ready to fire and you wouldn't know it. And as you can see there, the lamp has gone red. Now, this can't be fired on its own for testing purposes, but the way that you connect it to the camera, if I just show you, uh, on the side of the camera, you can see there's two connectors. Um, and if you look here, you can see that there are matching ones. And there's a little lever on the top here. So effectively you pop them together and there you go. You have your flash ready to rock and roll. And I, I think that's really cool, to be honest. So let's uh, have a little go on the flash. Let's make sure it's white wound on. One, two, three. Woo! So, uh, yeah. So, um, what did I think of the film? The, the camera itself? Great. I loved it. Um, I, I, I won't be keeping hold of it. Um, the reason I got it was because I got it as part of like a, a, a small lot of cameras. Um, I have a... Um, a 110 film camera um, but for me um, there's just something so simple so effective about these little cameras and do you know what I love about 110 film is that um, this is a true story um, when I showed to my friends um, slightly younger friends the pictures they said oh, I've got a question for you I said yeah go ahead and they said why do these, these pictures look like they were shot in the 80s or the 90s and and, and effectively that is what kind of 110 film gives you. It gives you a kind of real aesthetic of that period of time. Um, so if you're kind of wanting to, uh, you know, take photographs and have a kind of look from say like the 80s or the 90s, even the 70s, I mean, this is when the camera come out. This is the camera for you. The, uh, the negatives are small um, and, you know, uh, you're gonna get a lot of grain, but you'll see that from the pictures. Um, which I have uh, included at the end of this video. So, um, do you own a Hanimex <laughs> Tilly Hanomatic IEF camera? Um, 
Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the pictures. I've kind of thrown that in haphazardly. That's not great. That's better. And uh, I need to sign off because I've got uh, lots of stuff that I need to do. But um, yeah, take care, everybody, and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Woo!